We have exactly 51 days left of 2020. Ah, but who's counting? Pretty much everyone is, right? Well, the sooner we can put this pandemic packed period behind us, the better. Remember the time before global health crises? Before social media? Back when cell phones only made phone calls? Well, if you're longing for a simpler time, let's take you back 25 years. That's when the city of Boise and the YMCA encased a time capsule inside the West Boise YMCA to mark the groundbreaking of the new facility. 25 years ago, the capsule has been inside one of the cement walls alongside the pool since 1995. Kim Fields has a look at how far we've come. KTVB covered the event back in 1995. The crowd standing in what is now the pool at the West Boise YMCA. Items placed inside the capsule not to be opened until 25 years later. If you were here in 95, I mean, that project was a community project. You know, everyone had a stake in it and they were really excited about it. And so I think part of the fun of the project was let's get people involved in, um, you know, placing something in the capsule. The time capsule's been encased inside this wall all these years with directions on when to open it. So on Sunday, with crowbar in hand, that's exactly what they did. Behind the plaque, letters and articles stuffed inside, even an old baseball. There was actually a VCR tape, and honestly, one of our staff people, younger staff people, said, you know, how do you get this thing to play? A table full of memorabilia to remind those of us in 2020 what life was like in 1995. Like this old Nintendo Simpsons Game Boy game. The attached letter explains just how popular the Simpsons and Game Boys were in the 90s. This was just such a forward-looking project at the time, and we really wanted to com commemorate that and say, man, what is this world going to look like 25 years from now? There were lots of predictions inside the capsule. KTVB even submitted one. Boy, did we get number two wrong. We predicted the headline for 2020 would be that growth has finally slowed. I remember that in 95, you know, we did feel like we were growing and being out there way out west, you know, that was that was out there. I have a picture behind me of the hot air balloon that was there at the groundbreaking. And there, you know, just looking out towards Eagle Road. But honestly, Kim, there wasn't a house there. There's it looks like a uh, Eagle Road looks like a farm lane. Some of the letters predicted flying cars. Others were spot on, like how much we'd rely on computers in 2020. But listen to this prediction. One of the letters from a high school senior at Centennial High School said, you know, we'll probably be using computers a lot to learn at home, but there'll be a debate whether that's actually good for kids or not. Wow. And you know, that one was just like, wow, that's pretty right on. Wonder what we'll predict 25 years from now. Guess we'll have to wait and see. You know, time goes by pretty quickly. It does go by pretty quickly. In 1995, on the opposite side of that spectrum, Newsweek published an article scoffing at the thought of the Internet and how reliant we would all be on it. Man, that didn't age well, did it? Treasure Valley YMCA Director David Duro says they plan to do another time capsule. They're going to stuff it full of 2020 memorabilia to be opened in 2045. But they should probably wipe it all down with some alcohol or something, right? Uh -huh.